Hello again everybody. Today I'm going to be changing the oil on my wife's 2014 BMW X1. It's the 2.8 X drive and it's uh, beautifully wrapped in some uh, uh, blue. Her car is normally white but uh, she just got it wrapped recently and loves it. So uh, today we're going to take care of the oil change. Um, so right now I have it running. Let it run for a few minutes to get that oil warmed up. Then I'm going to pull it in the garage and get it up on my quick jack. Okay, I'm going to start under the car. I'm going to take an oil catch pan down there with me. Okay, starting at the front of the car. If you look under it. And just keep moving back. You will probably have a plastic cover here that you have to unscrew something. And take this little panel off, but this car does not have it on there. This is the engine oil drain plug that we're going to be taking off. The drain plug is a 17 millimeter, so we're going to get our socket, got some gloves on to keep the oil off. Go loosen that and let it drain into the pan. Bring this under here, and one thing that's very important is to make sure that it is open in the middle. Uh, don't ask me how I know that. Pretty easy to get started. check and see if you can do it by hand yet because you don't want it to come all the way out <clears throat> you don't want it to come all the way out like this or else you're gonna get oil all over you all right all right I can turn by hand so as I I'm loosening it. I'm also pushing it up to keep the oil in there because as soon as it's loose enough to remove, I'm going to move it fast to get my hand out of the way of the now warm oil. And the other hand on this pan to be able to reposition it if this stuff sprays everywhere. Okay, here we go. All right. So we're just going to let this drain now. Yeah, the other annoying thing that it can do is when the, no when the oil comes out, if it hits that center plug, it splashes around, so. Okay, this is going to take uh, a little bit of time, several minutes, so while it is draining, we're going to go up to the top of the car. Okay, now back in the engine bay. This is the oil filter cover that we're gonna remove. There is a special tool to do that. They have generic ones or a BMW one. I think I have a generic one. Let me go find it. To help our oil drain out of the bottom, we can take off the oil cap. That will make sure there's no pressure stopping it from going anywhere. All right, I've got this one from Motive Tools. I just bought it on Amazon. It's on here like this. And you can stick a 3 8 inch uh, wrench in here to turn it. So just stick a wrench on it like so. Before I take this off, I like to take some old rags. Just gonna put a rag around here so that when I remove this, if any oil drips, it'll hopefully not be in the engine bay. All right. And let's 
you see, just lifting this out slowly. Oop. All right. This oil's still coming out of it. And I want it to go in there. So sometimes our oil filter will be stuck on here and come out with it. Set this down. So somehow today I allowed myself to run out of shop rags, which is unfortunate timing. Just let this drip off. You can see that there's a hole in there that the oil is going down into our system. him up so he doesn't spill all over my garage. Okay, so I try to buy man brand oil filters. They're OEM for a lot of BMWs, maybe all BMWs. So when you get this, it's going to come with a replacement crush washer. So this goes on that drain plug that we removed already. And then it should have two... And there's a second one hiding behind here. It has two uh, O-rings and a little one and a really big one. These are going to go on this uh, that we just removed. So there's a little red one here at the tip and then there's a bigger red one, sorry, around the base. So it's usually easier to get like a small flathead screwdriver or a little pick or something and uh, remove these O-rings now put these new ones on. All right, just gently get in here, pull it off to remove it. You don't want to uh, damage the, the uh, plastic around here, but it doesn't matter about the O-rings because we're going to throw these away. <laughs> bag. There are two O-rings and it's also good to get them, get a little bit of the oil on them so they make a good seal. I'm just getting, I'm just grabbing some used oil off of this one and put it back in the same groove that you got the other one off of. You can, well, I can show you there's one groove that's wider than all the other ones that this one fits right in. The other grooves are threads, so you don't want to put it on the threads You put it down here in the groove. And then can be tricky. Come on, little guy. Almost. Okay, there. Now we got our top one on. All right, and the filter is the same in either direction. So you just want to slide it over here. Press it on, keep pressing until it pops in. Okay, <clears throat> now we can uh, replace this entire unit. All right, we're gonna stick this back down in here. And tighten it most of the way.
All right, you want to get it, it'll stop all of a sudden. Just uh, give it a little bit more of a tweak. You don't have to get it on there crazy tight. And don't forget to take the tool with you. Don't leave that on there. That would be bad. I'm a big Mobile One full synthetic motor oil fan, so we're going to put in some 5W30. Uh, it's going to take 6.1 quarts, it says. So I, I like to grab these 5-quart jugs at Walmart. You can usually get them for like 22 bucks or something. Um, hard to beat that price. And uh, I'll have... Uh, so I'll get two jugs and uh, we'll use one quart out of the second. Okay, once our dripping here has come to a close to a stop, I'm going to take our drain plug and remove the old crush washer. And I have the new one here that came with our filter. Put that on there. And I'm going to stick this back in here. And uh, there's a lot of oil around there from where it's been leaking, so so I like to grab a rag or towel or something and just wipe everything here off before I get it all tightened on there. All right, tighten it a little bit by hand. And back with our socket. Then you want to get it snug. Crush that crush washer a little bit to keep the pressure on it, but uh, don't overly tighten it because you're going to have to get it off again next time. Okay, after I have the bottom all buttoned up, I like to use a funnel. I don't like to live on the edge and try to pour this into that little hole. So this is going to take all five quarts. Now it probably needs another quart. Alright, don't forget to put your oil cap back on after you've filled it up. That's a very important step. What do you do with the old oil, you say? Well, I'll show you what I do with it. I put the filter on top of the jug that we just used with our new oil. And over some grass or pine straw so you don't get it all over your driveway or garage. You can pour it in here. And as it fills up on the back of the bottle on the fill line, you can see how much is in it so you don't overfill it. This also will let you know if your car has been burning oil you should be taking out around as much as you're putting in. And it looks like I'm taking out just a little over five 
quarts. This is overfilled for five quarts and there's still some more in here so that's a good sign. We're not too far from six quarts. So I'll close this up, take it into an auto parts store and they will recycle it for me for free. Okay, now we can get inside the car. Keys in. And quick menu, vehicle info, vehicle status, engine oil level. Measurement not possible at this time, so perhaps we have to start the car. So this was telling us that we need service. And now it will measure the oil for us. Alright, it's been three minutes now. Yeah, so just over three minutes. It looks like we are all the way at max, exactly where we want to be. And I only put uh, five quarts in, so um, there was probably some left that didn't drain out. And uh, I don't know, miscellaneous, but we're good. Okay, so if we go down to the services required, you will see that it says we need to replace the engine oil. And we just did that. So how do we reset that? I'll show you. Let's turn the car back off. Remove the key. Okay, you insert the key and with your foot not on the brake so the car does not start, you push the start stop button. And all of our dash lights will come on and we'll just wait patiently they all turn off. Yes, we need an oil change, we know. Okay, so when it gets to this point, we can press our little uh, reset button down here and hold it in. And there is our oil. So if we use this little toggle here, you can see it toggles through our different brake sensors and other things. Our engine or our oil filter one in our oil filter. Our oil change one is red. If you press this B C button in, when it asks if you want to reset, you press and hold B C. And it is resetting. All right, now it tells us that we're good until 9 of 2020 or 9,000 miles, or is that 8,000 8, miles? And that's all there is to it. If we come back over here now and check our vehicle status, well, it has not reset over here yet. We exit our vehicle status, go back in to check our vehicle status. Aha, uh -huh. now our engine oil is okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and I will keep the content coming.